you should see this. Your dishwasher cartoon has really outraged the online community. What? Gosh, it's not like the internet to go crazy about something small and stupid. Peter, you have to apologize. What, because of a joke? Not just a joke, Peter. A joke that angered some bloggers. <sighs> well, I guess this ain't the first time I got in trouble for something I said about a woman. Oh, good. We can steal. Okay, 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 okay. He, wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, good. that's a good one, Peter. That's what they're for, all right. Are you telling jokes? I love jokes. Oh, all right. Then you'll love this one. Okay. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> so you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> so you got... You, you, uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Weed? Peter, your comic in this morning's paper is really offensive. <laughs> That's not funny, Peter. Ah, you're just not getting it, Lois. See, his wife washed dishes for him. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah, there you go. And now, the History Channel presents American Inventor, the true story of Henry Ford. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. Well, I have to get to work, Chris. I have tons and tons of dogs to incinerate, but I can't wait to see you tomorrow night. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I'll clean that up. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll get it. Have fun at work. Okay. Bye, Chris. What do you think you're doing? What? You, a man, are cleaning up a mess made by Anna, a woman, that she, also a woman, spilled on you, a man. So? You're treating her like a human being. If you want to get anywhere with a chick, you can't treat him too nice-like. Really? Trust me, Chris. The next time you see this girl, treat her like crap. And you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. I don't know. I did everything Dad said. Ugh, I should have known Peter had something to do with this. You're not the first person whose life he screwed up. Knock, knock. Nicole, Ronald, who's ready for Boggle? Oh, my God. No! Why? Why? My beautiful Nicole! My man Ronald, who did this? Oh, man, they were so good together. We were just establishing our friendship. They were about to get engaged. Oh, he was going to ask me to be an usher. I mean, he already had enough groomsmen, so he made me an usher. But just to think I could be involved in the ceremony in any way. Um, I have a question. I went on a date with this girl that I really like, and if you don't mind, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the birds and the bees. Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson, um, I wasn't really talking to you. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my ringtone. Quagmire, call me. <laughs> Chris, camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Don't suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. Women, we have spent decades fighting for our right to vote. So when you go to those booths and cast your ballot, remember, Warren G. Harding is way the cutest! <laughs> we need to start taking responsibility for his health. So I decided to sign him up for fat camp. What? Mom, I don't want to go to fat camp. I'm sorry, sweetie. It's for your own good. And trust me, you'll feel much better about yourself. Everyone's going to make fun of me. Oh, come on. Who's going to make fun of you? Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. That's where you belong. Peter, stop it. And I better not see you at the big dance. Come on, you. Sorry, Chris. I I'm going to go with him. Tom Hanks, that's it. Ah, oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. 
I have AIDS. <laughs> Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Mom, can we go back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Well, I guess if Brian gets sick again... Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <laughs> Brian's sick! Mom, get your key! Furious, your friends are terrorists. Think about it. They're, they're meeting in secret. They're creating cover stories. Oh, my God, you're right! See, I told you my mood was bad news. Those guys are all bad news. Uh, hang on there, Quagmire. Just because these few guys are terrorists doesn't mean all Muslims are. Every ethnic group has their nut jobs. We have the Unabomber, Timothy McVeigh, and even that fat guy at the Atlanta Olympics who didn't do it, but he looked mean, so we said he did. Joe, you don't get to talk about the regular Olympics. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Here we go. All right, everything worked out. I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Okay. Maybe you bring a blazer so we can go to a wider range of restaurants. I'll, I'll bring a blazer. Okay, kids, we're going to start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> All right, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Careful, who you get involved with romantically. <phone rings> Hello? I'm in the mood for some coitus. Get over here. I can't. I'm with my family. Pick up wine on the way. Well, Angela, if I'm really the only guy at work who can solve it, I'll be right there. <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh, my God, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. This could need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I, I think Meg... Oh, my God, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car! It's my job. I lost my house. My wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Bernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Lois, I know how many beers I can drink and still be able to drive. I figured it out. Seven. Six. And Peter babysat for the neighbor's kid. All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Well, yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so, uh, here's to Drano, in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Hey, on LeVar Burton's visor. Ah! Ah! Why would he wear these? Who would invent these for him? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because... Well, if I don't, there's two guys who are gonna tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick! I love playing the maracas. They're so fun. I wonder what's in them. Sand or rice, probably. Maybe it's little shells? Oh, no, what if it's bones? No, no, bones are too big. 
But baby bones aren't. No, no, no. Nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? I'd probably put them in a tub. You could kill like eight at a time that way. Plus, it softens them up so you can get the bones right out. Joe just had a baby. And I got a baby at home. I got a tub. Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. Now you gotta kill them, too. Michael Myers. If it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> oh, 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 my. All right, somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. I want you to sign my chest. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to sign my ass. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to autograph my stomach. Okay, fine, but do me a favor. Don't spit on my friend. Hey, Brian, why don't you mind your own business? It gets way up your nose. I want you to resist the urge to levitate off the ground and float towards the pie. Doesn't seem too hard. All right, go stand over there. Oh, <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, 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 no, stop. I'm saying no. Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me what? Run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Come on, come on in. Your family's waiting in here. There are toys and a puppy and food that's not served from warming trays. <laughs> Come on, you gotta want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys, and a puppy. He has you die for rings? Well, this is like that, except it's a pill, and it's not okay if you don't get it. Ah, oh, damn you! Come on, come on, you just touched it! What's all the yelling? Oh my god, Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> First, there wasn't enough. Mr. Griffin, do you really think this is an appropriate cartoon to run on Gloria Steinem's half-birthday? You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive you are to women, do you? What? I love women! I bet I can name more porn stars than you. But, but don't tell my wife how many porn stars I know. I'll get in a lot of trouble. I know all of them, though. There are people who just started an hour ago, and I know them. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah. It's weird. You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. You can't leave him alone. Come on. It's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 no. Let's, let's not, let's not bring the monkey. I can't dissect this pig, Mr. Kingman. It's against my religion. Believe me, Neil, it's no thrill for the pig to touch a Jew, either. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! He's the only waiter we have! Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. <laughs> I love you, She-Hulk. All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. I don't have any hams. Lift up your shirt, son. I need an adult! I need an adult! You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, fatty, fat, fatty. Hey, Tom, he's just a fat kid. Aren't you fatty? He's just a big old fat kid. Here's some chocolate, fatso. 